it's the 30th of October 2020, and we're looking down on Typhoon Gomi, which is now a, officially a Category 5 Super Typhoon, and sadly it is on a collision course with Luzon of the Northern Philippines. This morning we woke up to an unpleasant surprise. Gomi had rapidly intensified overnight and was a Category 4 system. And since then, JTWC has upgraded it to a 150 knot Category 5 system. This makes Gomi the strongest, most intense typhoon of 2020, because the previous one was Typhoon Haishen, known as Christine in the Philippines. And that had sustained winds at one minute sustained of up to 155 miles an hour. However, 150 knots is actually 172 or 173 miles an hour if you round up. So this is the strongest one of the year. Super Typhoon Gomi has a compact 9 nautical mile eye, vicious small system, exceptional damage to shipping vessels likely if anything comes into the path of this thing. Let's take a look at the JTWC forecast and see how it tracks and will impact on Luzon, Northern Philippines. I've put on the track from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, they don't rule out further intensification for the next 12 hours, but beyond that there is some slight weakening, expected eyewall replacement cycle, plus some strengthening vertical wind shear as the storm approaches Luzon. Hopefully the storm will get down to Category 4, or potentially Category 3, or lower as it interacts with the terrain. But it's going to be a highly dangerous landfall, and it's only a little north of Manila in the current forecast. Hurricane Wharf initializes the storm at 925 millibars, Keep an eye on the number in the center of the storm as we move forward. The number getting higher is an indication that the pressure is getting higher, which is a sign of weakening. So as we move forward, we will see that the pressure remains very low for the next 24 hours or so. And then there is a slight rising in the pressure and a slight weakening of the winds as the storm approaches Luzon in the Philippines. In fact, at landfall, the pressure is up to 945 in the hurricane wharf and maybe 950 by land but look at the winds the winds are still over 100 knots it is still a category 3 at in this one particular model at landfall making it a major hurricane landfall and a highly dangerous one other models that have any decent initialization anyway do agree on the general trend towards landfall which is around tau 60 and I think that they are, generally speaking, heading into the Category 3, Category 4, Category at Landfall. Landfall on Luzon is 6Z to 12Z roughly on Sunday, and the Philippines is 8 hours ahead. That would make it late afternoon into the evening on Sunday. The last thing I'm going to look at for today's video are the waves, and I'm going to look at Wave Watch 3 here, and the storm comes in approaching Luzon as you can see, bringing very large waves with it. The size of the waves in the core, if we put a little pinpoint in, is over 10 meters high waves. And those come in and slam into the southern or oh, south side of Luzon on the peninsula area. Very large waves indeed. And that is pretty much all I'm going to say at this point. That's a, obviously a very large surge possible. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hopefully I'll do a, another update tomorrow. For more discussion on this storm, come over to our Discord server or leave a comment down below. Happy to answer any questions and please stay tuned to the latest forecast from JTWC and Pegasa.